Hello, this is Kian Wormsley and this is the next in my series on integrating AutoCAD with Kinect. Uh, so in this episode we're going to do a little bit more um, automated modeling from the Kinect. In, in, the, in the last episode we actually saw a more manual process. We captured um, a set of points at different moments and then did some manual digitizing of profiles from plates, in fact, that was a plate that was held, that was moved through space. We, we digitized a plate at different moments and then took one of them as a profile and swept it along the path formed um, through 3D space of, of, of the plate. So this time we're actually just going to do that a bit more automatically. Um, so rather than holding something, we're just going to ask the user for a profile radius and then um, kind of create a, a circle uh, you know, and sweep it along the path that's made by moving your hand. So there's going to be a little bit more, uh, I guess it's, it's more interactive, but there's also more calculation needed by AutoCAD in order to generate the, the sweep. And as you'll see, as you go further through the sweep, you know, there, there are performance issues. But you know, just really to, to sort of show the concept, I mean, my PC is relatively underpowered, which may also be a, a, a factor in, in the performance. But we'll, we'll take a look and see how it works. So I've got a new command called kinext, ext for extrusion, uh, rather than kinect. Um, we'll choose a default profile radius, or the default profile radius of, of 40. And I'll step back. Let me just move the cursor onto the drawing background. Move it over there somewhere. Perfect. All right. Assume the, the calibration pose, and it should flash red once it's detected me. I made a, a slight change there. Uh, to make it a little bit more visible. Okay, it's found me. So let me just move my ha hand down and we'll get a cursor. And then as I move my hand through space, it's going to theoretically create a spline. I was doing it a bit slowly. Um, and as you can see, the longer the extrusion, or the longer the sweep, the 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 more time consuming it is and therefore it takes longer to do. So that's, you know, you know, it, it, it's harder for it to do in real time. So let me move across there. Let me move over that side. Okay, back there and I'll move my hand down again. This time, let's see what we can do like that. Oops, it only got the beginning of that. Well, anyway, let's, let's, let's not too worry too much. I mean, it caught some of it. Um, See if we can get the circle. Now, one thing you will see is as soon as you get too far and you intersect yourself, then you'll start to have some issues. Um, <clears throat> so, in this case, we haven't yet done that. And in fact, it seems to have stopped detecting. Oh, no, there we go. So, in this case, we haven't yet done a self intersecting. Um, tube, if you like, you know, or the path that we're defining isn't yet self-intersecting, and it seems to be having a little bit of trouble sort of doing the processing, but that's all right, it's not too big a deal. But let's just deliberately do one that's um, self-intersecting. Move my hand over into some space. There we go. So here, I'll actually do kind of a circle, which starts okay, but then if we come back on ourselves then that's when AutoCAD is going to have a, have trouble sweeping along that path and it's going to throw an exception. At that point, what I'll do is, what we, what the code is doing is rather than taking the um, the solid and adding that into the drawing. Well, actually, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't even get it to self-intersect. <laughs> when you want something to go wrong and it doesn't. So let me, let's try that one more time. And then, of course, we come back through here we should have definitely have some sort of self intersection of that path um, at which point as i said you know rather than taking the 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 swept solid itself um, we're just going to take the path of the of this that, that's defined by um, the movement and add a spline into the drawing instead of the um, instead of the the, the 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 results of the sweep along the path so let's see, hopefully that's worked. It's taking a little bit of time to think through in this case. 
All right, so there we've got the the the, the swept. Um, the, the the basically we can see the failure on the command line there, which is just as we as we expected. Um, and then we'll just complete that. If it's going to detect my arms, I don't know if it's going to detect my movement or whether I'm going to have to click the button, which is a possibility. Let's just click, and then I'll sit back down. <clears throat> And then we'll see what results we get in. In this case, as we bring in the point cloud from the <clears throat> from the, the the last point cloud into AutoCAD, and and just sort of see where the where the the, the, the models are relative to it. And it's just bringing that in using the same process that we saw before to index and then attach the 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 last file that we create from the points. Um, that originally originated in a, that we originally saved to a text file, and there we go. We can see there that you know the points actually are pretty. You can see it's exactly at the end of my hand, so that it's covered quite well there. In terms of the depth, we don't have the same issues before. Sometimes that you know that that's an issue that comes and goes, but in this case, you know, it's very much placed on um the 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 you know the the, the geometry that created is very much right there on the on the 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 point cloud uh, which was you know defined by my where i was in space and detected by the connect all right well that's it for today so thank you very much um i hope you found this interesting if you'd like to see anything else please post me a comment send me an email um and we'll I think the next one we'll take a look more at the navigation side of things, um, which, which is really to 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 use the gestures detected by the Connect in order to manipulate the view inside AutoCAD, which I think is ultimately probably more interesting a, a use case for this technology than than actual modelling. But you know, it's, it's still fun to to do this as well. All right, thank you very much.